That's the number to ring if you want to join in tonight's debate with me, Scotty McClure, live on Scott FM. Time coming up to 29 minutes to 11 o'clock. Thought I'd give you that. Makes me sound professional, even although I might not be. Gary. Hi. Yes. Uh, started your phone, Scotty. That's very kind of you. Thanks very much. Tina. <laughs> Hello, Scotty. Tina, darling. <laughs> what are you doing on my program, you think? <laughs> Why am I not allowed your program? Well, you're allowed in my program, but you usually only come on Fridays, like. I know, but I'm working late this Friday night. Oh, you're yeah. working late? So I decided to phone you. How late? <laughs> to 12. How late do you work? <laughs> <laughs> to 12 o'clock. How are you? To 12 o'clock? Yes. <laughs> the mouse ran up the clock. What? The mouse ran up the clock. The mouse ran up my morning. How are you, darling? The right. mouse rang up your what? <laughs> <laughs> right, can I see whether you introduce this program? Yes, darling. It's really starting to get annoying me out, Why is it annoying you? Because you say, right, you say, have a blether with your fellow Scottish, Scottish people. Right? Uh, excuse me, I have never in my life <laughs> said, have a blather with your fellow Scottish people. What are you at there, we in? What are you at, we thing, eh? You swinging your shillelagh at me. <laughs> eh? I'll make you an Ulster fry. <laughs> you want to come and stay the night with me, I'll make you an Ulster fry in the morning with black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you a big white pudding in the morning. <laughs> That'll strengthen you up for the day. <laughs> that and a couple of sliced sausages. <laughs> hey? <laughs> you wouldn't last tonight, Scotty Flower. Wouldn't last tonight for, <laughs> with an Ulster fry. <laughs> you don't get your Ulster fry in the morning. I'll give you an Ulster fry as soon as you arrive and another one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scotty, you said you can join in some entertainment with your fellow Scottish people. Excuse me. <laughs> could I have a little sip of what you're on? <laughs> hey? <laughs> <laughs> you're a big darling. Oh, you're a big darling. You're a big darling. Are you so not what? Gonna sing them in the night? No, I'm not going to sing you a wee song at the moment. When Irish eyes are just smiling, a... just a song at twilight. No, it's just when... a cross. The what? The Irish sea. Just a cross. <laughs> I think that's what they sing in the third class lounge on the mail boat. I tell you, Scott. On the way back. I tell you, when they've got a, people well, sing that song. Well, they've got a large one in them. <laughs> If you'll pardon the expression. My people always have large ones in them, Scott. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would, that would at least explain something. That would explain something, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you tell Are you telling me they've been swinging their shillelaghs and kissing the blondie stone? <laughs> <laughs> they can swing many things, Scott. I'll tell you, fine time's always you. good for a couple of bangers. <laughs> Scott, I'm supposed to be off work sick. If you're Irish, come into the parlor. Terrible, that. Scott, I do not think I can sing. How did you get on in singing in school? Singing in school. I was in the choir. Were you in the choir? I was in the choir. Oh, well, I'm glad I missed that. At least maybe the rest of them would drown you out. Thank goodness you went solo singing. <laughs> I don't sing the pieces in church, Scotty. How do you? You sang the pieces in church? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Did you give it the full bit? <laughs> I did, Scotty. The foot pump and everything. Is it the foot pump? The foot <laughs> You gave it the foot pump. Did that help your singing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to sing and I've got the foot pump on the go. <laughs> so that should help you here at the back there. You'd be able to hear us up at the back. <laughs> Because I've got a foot pump on me. <laughs> now, do you think that they need to hear me at the back of the foot pump? Do you know they'll be able to. Enough? They'll be able to hear you. If you can hear us, put your hand up. <laughs> I said, if you can hear us, put your hand up. Can I ask why you never have a, de a debate? Excuse me, I'd like to go to the toilet. Have you ever thought about putting your hand up? Yes, but it just it comes out the side of your fingers. <laughs> why do you not? Yeah, well, I told you not to mention names. <laughs> You've done it now, and I told you not to talk about football. <laughs> do you see, not like football? What do you mean, do not like? It's nothing to do with liking it. It's just that it's not something we don't talk about on here. Oh, do you not talk about it? This is a phone-in for the ordinary people. I, 
do you think I am? You're, you're one of those upmarket silver spoon in the gob I people. am, I am not. A little bit posh. I am not. Brought up posh. with a good few bob behind you. <laughs> I had a good few things, Simon, but it wasn't Bob, I'm telling you that. A good few Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't... You can't wasn't. tell how many Bob the Bill is. <laughs> <laughs> right, Scotty, do you know what I've just made? Well, actually, I, I, you know what Heather's just made? Your father's just made what? No, Heather. Oh, Heather? Yes. Heather? I know it was Heather. Heather's just made lentil soup, Scotty. Has she made an Ulster fry? No, she hasn't. She... She didn't make it. hasn't made me an Ulster fry. What are her dumplings like? Lovely. Are oh, they very nice? Yes, they're lovely. Do you want to come and taste them, Scotty? Would she do they're you? They're not that far from you. Would she do you a dumpling? I'd just like to taste them. We're just, we're just up the road. Come on, you're up here after you finish. <laughs> right? I'd just like to taste the dumplings. Would you? <laughs> I was going to... Oh, Scotty! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I was going to... I'd like to taste your pudding. <laughs> Please, they're all right. <laughs> I'd like to just dip a tiny one in, uh, dip a tiny one into your soup just to have a sip. <laughs> Scotty, I'm not, we're only living since Scotty. Come on, you on up to us. We <laughs> can have a wee cup of soup, buddy, for you. A, a wee cup of something, darling. Very well. Very nice to talk to you. Same to you, Scotty. God bless you. And listen, you better phone Friday. Oh, right. Well, I'll phone you on Friday. Because the right. whole Tina fan club listens on Friday. Does it? Yes, to hear our big darling from, a, big from darling. A, across sea and sea. All right, sweetie. Right, got it. God bless you. Check your tongue out and set the tar. How I love the dear <laughs> silver that shines in your hair. <laughs> See you, darling. Thanks, mm. got it. <laughs> big honey that you are. Margaret. Hello, Scotty. Hello, darling. Right, uh, just a uh, little first of all. I'd like to talk to you about that wee girl that was on that was pregnant. And yes. She thought she was pregnant and she's not. She thought she had one in. Yes, well. When you're talking about dropping your drawers... Dropping your drawers... That's all going I'm, out to I'm, the nation. I'm not talking about dropping my drawers, no, Lovie. No. No, just talking about a wee girl dropping her drawers. Six right. years of age. Right. Do you think that's a nice expression to come away with over to, to millions of people? Very nice expression. An awful lot nicer I'd, than some of the ones you would come out with. And plus the fact that Irish lad that it was on there, but and that's what you called. You can't that's even control your language, you old bag. Right, there we are, she's gone. Now then, Margaret, are you there, Margaret? 